In this video I will give you some inspiration and tips when to use live composite. Hi there, I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you won't miss any videos in the future. And if you like this video, hit that like button also. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer. Last Tuesday I made a video about live composite. The unique feature in Olympus cameras that makes long exposure photography a much easier. And if you have not watched that video yet, I really recommend to watch that video if Live Composite is not familiar to you. I give some tips how to use it and how to set it up. As I said in the beginning, in this video I will give you tips and tricks on how to use Live Composite. And I will give you four different ways of using Live Composite on your Olympus camera. And use number one, star trails. Using Live Comp makes star trail photography a lot easier. And after you have finished your exposure, you already have the final image in your camera. No need to go to your computer and spend hours on post-processing. You already have it, because the camera makes the composite for you. But of course, there's a small downside. If something happens, a plane flies across or somebody peeks into your camera, and there is no way of taking a couple of images in the middle of the way like you can do if you do post-processing. But if everything goes well when you're making the Starfall image, Live Comp is the way to do it. And number two, light painting. I haven't done that much of artistic light painting, which you can do with all kinds of light painting gear. But I have done with a flashlight, like in this image, an old uh, satellite disc in front of a technology museum in Helsinki, was shot using light comp. And what makes it so much easier to do is that you can always see the progress of your image. You're not in a, any rush. Uh, and this photo of what this big tractor was made with live comp also. In this one, the tractor was in a dark garage or in the factory actually where they make this. All I had was my Olympus OMD EM1 at that time because this is a, like a two or three year old image and one flashlight and a 70 millimeter f1.8 lens. What I did was I measured the flashlight, it was f8, so I kept the flash at the certain distance from the machine and walked around and flashed the flashlight around the tractor and the, what was great about this was able to see the progress in the LCD of my camera. The way that I did was very efficient because it took only like half an hour to make this image. With traditional methods I would have had a truckload of flashlights set up in the garage and that would have taken a lot of time and a lot of effort also from the client. The client was very happy. It took only me a, like a 30 minute and then the image was done. And it was actually one shot. I did not have to do that much work in Photoshop. And number three, light trails. These kind of images were covered in the first part of LiveComp videos. Please go and check that, out that video to learn more about how to make images of light trails. And usually when you make images with LiveComp, it's long exposure photography. And what you really need is a tripod. But if you try to do some images with live comp and handheld the camera and you get some pretty interesting results and try to turn the camera around move it around and see how your image progresses on the LCD and when you think it's done and you think the image looks nice and then just press the shutter button to stop the exposure and usually when you move the camera around it gives you some kind of a watercolor effect which sometimes can be really nice but what I like about photography is it's all about experimenting if something goes wrong who cares Try something new. Let me know if you have tried live comp and what kind of results have you gotten. And please send me some of your best live comp images. I will go through them and give some feedback on them on my next video on next Friday. There will be instructions how to send your image down below in the description of this video. But please, if you have some nice images, please share them and get some feedback on them. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.